Welcome back to Miss Teacher Tube with Janice Leong. On today's episode, we're going to be learning a lot about attributes. We've so far looked at attributes for 2D shapes. We're going to take a closer look at that, but we're also going to be doing some sorting of other items according to attributes. We automatically group things according to attributes. And when we see things, we automatically spot attributes that things have in common. You will see what I mean on today's episode as we work through the problems together. There are so many different ways to look at attributes. Have fun on today's episode. We'll see you soon. Welcome back. So I have an activity coming up for you. I'm going to give you a bunch of different attributes and you're going to have to put them into sorting circles. So although I haven't drawn perfect circles at the bottom here, these are my sorting circles for my example for you. So for mine, here are my group of objects. These are all shapes. I want to look at their attributes and I want to pick out the ones that have three vertices and put the letters here, four vertices, put the letter here, and no vertices, those letters go here. So let's start with the three vertices. There's one, so B has three vertices, oh, D has three vertices, G has three vertices, that's all that I can see so far, four vertices. Oh, A has four vertices, one, two, three, four. E has four vertices. Ooh. E has four vertices. Oh, F has four vertices. Oh, there's another one, H has four vertices, no vertices. Well, remember the work we did about different shapes, which one has no vertices? Oh, it would be the circle. So C has no vertices and I has no vertices. What I'd like you to do when you're done, you think you have all the right answers down. I want you to just double count, make sure you got them all, put in any that are possibly missing. So this is how you're working with different attributes and shapes. I have a whole bunch of fun activities coming up for you. Take your time and check your answers and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Welcome back. So now we're going to be looking at making sorting rules. So when we're looking at the shapes, I'm giving you groups of shapes in these student activities coming up, I want you to look at what those shapes have in common. So for example, we're looking at the shapes behind me. You can see that they're all squares. Every single one of them is a square. They have something else in common. You can see some have dots, some have lines. That's not something they all have in common. But what they do have in common is they're all using the color black. So I could say these are all black squares. They're all using something black in them. That's what they have in common. So when I'm making my sorting rule, I'm just stating what the attributes are that they have in common. So let's write that down. They are all black squares. And let's look at the last part. So they are sorted by, well, 
shape, and color. Shape and color. So the shape and color are the two attributes that I'm using to describe this group of objects and why they're all sorted this way and put together. Okay, so one more time. These are all black squares. They are sorted by shape and color. Have fun working on the student activities. See you soon. Welcome back. So we're going to dive deeper into the world of attributes. So when we look at the world around us, everything has attributes. So I want you to stop thinking about shapes and I want you to think about other things like this. Here's my example for you. I have these three words, apple, pear, orange. What do all these things have in common? Well, they're all fruit. Let's finish our sentence. These are all fruit that grow on trees, on farms. Both are in common. Grow on trees. I could say either. Grow on farms, grow on trees, grow on trees on farms. That's three different attributes. <laughs> you get the picture of how this works. I have another example coming up too. Here is my next example. So I've got three words, cat, rat, sat. Can you see the attributes they have in common? The first thing they have in common is they all end in AT. They, these all are all ending in AT. Now let's finish the second sentence. They all have how many letters? They all have three letters. So the two attributes that these have in common is they all have the same ending. They all end in AT. And all these words have three letters. These are the two things that they have in common. Take a look at the activities I have coming up for you. I have written down sentences for you to fill out the answer with the attributes. That will make your job a little bit easier, but study the pictures very carefully. I will see you soon. Well, that's all I have for you today. I sure hope you've learned lots about attributes today and how to sort and group things according to attributes and not just attributes with 2D shapes, attributes all around us. If these videos are useful to you, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon.
Bye for now.